In a ruling on Wednesday, a federal judge declared DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, illegal and unlawful. The program, which has allowed undocumented young adults who came to the U.S. as children to work and study without the fear of deportation, is now at risk. The ruling puts approximately 580,000 DACA recipients at the possibility of being deported. This decision by U.S. District Judge Andrew Hannon aligns with an earlier ruling from the Fifth Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals, which also determined DACA to be unlawful. The Fifth Circuit ruling stated that Texas had the right to sue due to increased social services, health care, and education costs associated with the program. Several states, including Texas, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Nebraska, South Carolina, West Virginia, Kansas, and Mississippi, have filed lawsuits against the DACA program, alleging that they have incurred substantial monetary costs as a result. These states argue that the Department of Homeland Security circumvented Congress when establishing DACA. Judge Hannon emphasized that Congress has chosen not to pass legislation similar to DACA and stated that the executive branch cannot exceed the powers given to it by the Constitution. He also ruled that the Biden administration's 2022 regulations were inconsistent with the Immigration and Nationality Act. While the ruling prohibits the approval of new DACA applications, it allows existing recipients to continue with the program during the ongoing appeals process. Renewal of DACA status every two years remains possible, as well as seeking advance parole for travel outside the U.S. and lawful return. However, the ruling halts the acceptance and processing of initial DACA requests. It is important to note that the ruling does not require the federal government to remove current DACA recipients from the country. Existing recipients will still receive federal funding, but the ruling puts any eligibility for new recipients on hold. Protests have erupted in response to the ruling from organizations such as the Mexican-American Legal Defense and Educational Fund, MALDEF, the Immigrant Legal Resource Center, the state of New Jersey, and the Biden administration. These groups, along with many others, are calling on Congress to pass permanent legislation for DACA. The case is expected to proceed to a higher court, including the Supreme Court, for the third time. The ultimate fate of DACA and the lives of millions across the country will be determined in these legal proceedings. Let's answer some of your frequently asked questions. Number 1. Is DACA now illegal? Yes, based on the latest ruling. Number 2. Can current DACA recipients renew their status? Yes, they can continue to renew their status. Number 3. Will I lose my DACA status? No, as long as you renew it. Number 4. Can new applicants apply for DACA? Yes. However, according to the latest ruling, USCIS will continue to accept initial requests but will not process them, per the court order. Thanks for watching. Hope you check our next video. Bye for now.